Hello, my name is Kian Barbieri, a jazz trumpet player, and I'm doing a series called ABCs of Jazz, where I play one piece of jazz music each day for each letter of the alphabet. We're on letter O today. And so we're gonna do the song called Over the Rainbow. Now, most have probably heard this song because of Wizard of Oz, Wizard, The Wizard of Oz. Um, and yeah, this song was written for, it's still a jazz piece, but it was written specifically for uh, Wizard of Oz, who was commissioned. Um, yeah, let's see, yeah, so it was written, uh, Harold, um, what is it, Arlen. Yeah, uh, Harold Arlen, he's the guy, that, the composer, and then there's uh, Yip Harburg, I don't know if I'm explaining, I'm saying that right, he, the lyricist. And basically, uh, which is, actually it's a kind of an interesting thing, thing uh, with the, um, Way, way he was writing the song, because uh, uh, basically, first of all, he was basing it on, um, like, in his imagination, what kind of gave him the idea of this piece, uh, in his words. He said, a ballad for a little girl who was in trouble and wanted to get away from Kansas. A dry, arid, colorless plain. She had never seen anything colorful in her life except the rainbow. And uh, he was uh decided that like this the melody should be like a broad long broad line that's his like envisionment of the melody but he wasn't actually didn't actually have the melody for a long time because uh like this was like even after all the other music was written for the wizard of oz he hadn't finished it yet and what he would constantly carry manuscript paper with him and just kind of jot down ideas for like the melody and stuff that, you know, just like, oh, this comes to mind here, let me put this down. But he never actually had a complete melody until one day um, when he was, uh, his, he and his wife were just driving in a car. Um, he said, he, well, the way he says um, how it happened, uh, I said to Mrs. Arlen, let's go to Grom, Groman's Chinese. You drive the car, I don't feel too well now. I wasn't thinking of work. I wasn't consciously thinking of work, I just wanted to relax. As we drove by Schwab's drugstore on Sunset, I said, pull over please, and we stopped, and I didn't, and I really don't know why. Bless the muses, and I took out my little bit of manuscript and put down what you now know is over the rainbow. So, his way of writing this melody wasn't like, you know, he just sits down, and kind of like, you know, grinds it out and decides which notes he wants or whatever. Um, this was just over time. Over time, he was like jotting down some melody ideas. And then all of a sudden, because uh, one day, on his way to Chinese food, he suddenly thought of the entire melody and then just jotted it down. It's crazy how like that works. <laughs> um, and uh, also, regarding the piece, uh, originally, so you know the melody... But there is the, the bridge part, which basically is the part between the melody. Uh, you know, usually it's like an A, A, B, A section where like they play or A, B, A, whatever, um, where they play one part, the whole melody that you know, and then they have a little bridge part where it like it just kind of connects it into back into the last part of the melody. Um, originally, that didn't exist. Uh, the bridge part for uh, Over the Rainbow. That didn't exist when he originally wrote it. But later he added that, basically. And um, he said it was like uh, a, child, a child's piano exercise. And, like, when you think about it, it totally is. It's like, imagine, like, some, you know, uh, my mom is actually a piano teacher. And so... Um, when she had piano students, like kids and stuff, come in, you know, they would play piano exercises or whatever. Um, and, I mean, that totally sounds like it, you know? <laughs> um, and, anyways, this is a slow ballad piece, so I was going to play this for you and then uh, improvise one way through. So I hope you enjoy. Okay. 